For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how you can host multiple servers or the multiple web servers. Example say that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. That um, I have um, one server over here, so which is my server. So if this server has example say that 192.168.2.51 is the IP address. Then what I'm doing over here is that using this single server. So this is single server. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to host a multiple uh, virtual web hosting. So I'm going to do a multiple virtual web hostings over here which means that so in this default directory so like slash var www.html and i'm going to create a one is that uh, web server one okay and i'm going to create one more directory called uh, web server two so this is going to be one server and this is going to be another server example say that i'm going to type something like this on www dot okay web server one web server one dot com then what i'm going to get here is that i'm going to get this website the first website so if i do a one more time so www dot web server two dot com then i'm going to get this web web page so this is called using a single web server in the sense sing, I'm going to use a single HTTPD web server over here website HTTPD service over here using this I'm going to host a multiple servers on the single host itself. So how we are going to do that? Let's see this. So we are going to see how we are going to do this virtualize hosting on the single host itself we are going to host multiple web servers so in order to do this one so first of all m install httpd so i'm going to install this httpd web server you can see that uh, the package is going to be installed and its dependencies also installs now packages get installed successfully let's verify that status of that uh, httpd service whether it is enabled or not so it is inactive so what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to start this web service okay our service is started example say system ctl status httpd you can see that the service has been started to see now status has been enabled just going to enable the configuration so our service has been started and um, we have to add the firewall role before that okay and add permanent and iphone iphone add service equal to http firewall is not running anyway so no no problem we no need to do anything over here because the service is not running so we no need to enable any uh, ports over here so our default directories are www HTML is the default web hosting um, is that we are going to create a multiple directories under this one so www so I'm going to create a one directory called web server one okay and I'm going to create one more called web server two so both the directories I have created over here then in both the directories I'm going to add two files so touch I'm just going to index.html and uh, in two also I'm going to make index.html and I'm going to edit this first file and write something over here a little bit of uh, HTML code I have to write in order to show this uh, HTML one okay welcome to web server one okay and uh, close this h1 heading heading one 
and close this HTML tag that's it so this is what I want to display whenever my web server one is browsed and I'm going to do this um, web server 2 over here and um, I'm going to change this text to web server 2 so to identify from which the page is coming over here we now we created the, uh, the two directories and um, created these files under them and um, both of them are index.html files so now what I'm going to make here is that uh, ch mode iphone r755 slash var ww html so I'm going to make all these permissions as 755 right so our default configuration files what are the default configuration files over here is that we are going to enable edit slash etc httpd conf dot d this is the default configuration path of the web hosting here we have to add the files example say that i'm going to say that my server name web server one dot configuration file i'm going to add over here the configuration file here i'm adding is that virtual hosting virtual host okay i'm going to make is that star colon 80 so anybody can browse from anywhere which 80 port can be enabled and i am saying that uh, server admin root at um, take your kit okay it's a local local system itself i'm going to send or else you can also say that um, maybe like a local host dot local domain right and uh, server name server name i'm going to do that www dot web server one dot com and document root where is the document root exactly so our document the first root is this one server one okay and uh, directory index directory index so which means that which file first i should uh, look up so in this index dot html is the file you have to look up for the first time okay or else you can write it not write it that's okay by default index dot html is only the default configuration file we add it otherwise if you do not have um, a index dot html files maybe you have different file name then you, you have to specify then close this virtual host over here the virtual host configuration has been uh, completed up to this one and i am going to specify this uh, directory permissions over here so where this directory path should be looking up this is the path it should look up and um, allow override and uh, i am not giving any permission to override and require all granted so i am going to grant permissions to the all who wanted to browse this directory or the who want to browse this web server so this is the configuration we have to write for the particular web hosting the server one web hosting we are going to write it over here right so this is the configuration we are going to write it and um, the configuration we can verify using this um, configuration checkup example here that uh, sttpd iphone t will verify the configuration whether if it is uh, correct or not it's going to be verified and say that okay if it is correct then it's say correct okay any syntax error it's going to show us that okay there is some syntax error 
so it says the syntax is okay now what i'm going to do is that i i don't want to change much configuration over here so i'm going to copy this and as a server 2 configuration and i'm going to edit this one that second one and say thus and this is the one is web server 2 and uh, this is also be 2 and uh, this is also be 2 so similar configuration but i don't want to change anything over here only the directory parts and the web server hosting part document root only i would like to change over here that's it now system ctl restart httpd dot service errors then it writes the error configuration path or error files over there that would be easy for us to verification so what i'm going to do is browsing from the web server in the sense the windows server oh sorry windows host so what i'm going to do here is that i'm just going to in drivers files and here in the slash etc so in this host file what i'm going to do is that i'm going to edit this host file and write the entries over here okay and i'm editing so cd enter into this entry and uh, say notepad host so in this i'm just going to write something entries over here okay say that um, 192.168.2.51 entry is the www.webserver1.com and one more thing is 192.168.2.51 www.webserver2.com right sorry now i'm going to save this configuration and open the browser is uh, both the web servers and see how it is working so if i type the web server one so it says that web server one is working and now if i type uh, web server two and you can see that the welcome web server two is working fine like this you can host multiple web servers using the this httpd uh, the virtual web hosting configuration so that multiple urls you can configure into the singit virtual web hosting configuration itself that's about it guys so this is how you can host multiple virtual hostings on the semi uh, one sing one single server so that is how it works thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and uh, courses Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.